Hello everybody, welcome to Poly Games. I am your host, Joseph, and today we're doing a review on the BB-8. Now we got this a couple days ago. My brother Dan here has been playing with it ever since. And as you see, Dan, you want to say a little something about the head of this? Uh, so you notice device? that it's rather intelligent in the sense that the BB-8 knows where its head is supposed to be pointed. As I'm turning the body of the BB-8, his head is staying true to the what it considers to be up or forward on the control pad. Okay. So as I twist, as I move around, he's still pointed in that place. That's pretty cute. Even though I'm moving around now, it does get kind of janky when you start to, you know, play with him on the floor and, mm -hmm. you know, he starts moving around and when you manipulate his actual, um, his actual, yeah, his actual, actual location, um, and he comes in contact with, let's say, cats or uh, foreign objects on the ground, mm -hmm. it will, uh, he'll lose his true, true positioning. But okay. as he's just in the hand and these slight turns, he's, uh, he's, he's still form. maintaining that true to direction uh, form. All right, and so let's put him cool on the ground. Yeah. If I start rotating him, he starts to go right back to where he's supposed to be. Nice. So let's put him on the ground. Let's yeah. uh, see how he how he reacts. Now this thing goes for a uh, hundred and fifty dollars American. Um, and how does this baby perform like on on ground? Pretty uh, well on solid surfaces, non carpet. Um, this thing seems to perform really, really well. Um, as you can see, there you see the cat right over there. Its relation to it. I'm just gonna move this around and we're gonna go bother the cat. Oh you no! Can see the head sometimes likes to pop off when it makes contact. When you're being a dick to the cat. When I'm being a dick to the cat. So do you see that that happens often with the BB-8? That like yes. the head will fall off? Oh yeah. Yeah? How many times has that happened to you? By oh, a lot. Yeah? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It, it's, it happens quite often. If you if you go too too fast into an object like you can't control your speed, mm -hmm. um, you'll have issues. But he seems to always come back right back up. Now the other thing, if you look here on the on the pad, you can control uh, speed override. Okay, and what does that do? Basically, it controls its top speed. So you sometimes what I've noticed with this thing is that the BB 8s head will fly off. When you just take a uh, a crazy directional um, turn, so right. like if I'm going forward and all of a sudden I want to really just turn a hard left, boom, the head flies right off. So would this be? Is that override good for like when you're on a hardwood floor, so you get you know you don't lose traction as much, I guess. Um, hardwood floors are great. Concrete we're on right now because we're in a basement. Uh, we've gone on carpet before. It depends well, on the bunker. 500 feet below sea level. Right. Basement my ass. Um, when you're on carpet, depending on the thickness of the carpet, the thicker the carpet, the harder this thing is to move. It does. It just doesn't get the traction it needs to okay. actually go forward and such. So carpet, it's actually okay because some people online say that it's um, good on carpet. That it, that they're they're hesitant to buy it because of the simple fact that so, it is a ball. Yeah, like so it, check, like the, check it out right here. If you see this red carpet, right? This is kind of like this. This isn't a, a really heavy carpet. Mm -hmm. It's um, I don't know, it's just one of these area rugs, right. right? And it doesn't have much thickness to it. So as you can see, if you want to point the camera back towards them, I'm going to be able to navigate fine on this thing, just like if it was hardwood. It depends. If you have one of those really furry uh, carpets, it's not going to be able to navigate on it. Like Okay, so furry-ass carpets, no. Area rugs, no. just fine. Now, as you can see, he's on memory foam right now. Okay. And memory foam, he has a problem with. This is one of those, uh, you know, there we go. Come on. Come on. Let's see if I put his overdrive to top speed and see if he gets out of it now. And once you hit 88 miles an hour, are we going to see a load of shit? No, he's just going to... You just kind of have to wiggle him out of the position, okay. point different directions. And as you can see, boom, he kind of wipes out. So my question here is, 
if you own some heavy rugs, this okay. is not this is not your purchase for you. No, and I'm There's pretty sure I'm pretty sure the Spyro series of devices won't allow you to actually do uh, uh, that with its normal uh, the normal ball that right. it has. But I think the other one, the t what is it called? The the terrain or something like that beats me. It's, it's like a pill with um, with treads. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that one's designed for carpets and harder terrain. So you can see. Let's go near the cat. Cat. She is not a fan. Tanuki is not a fan. As you can see, when it wipes out, it goes to red it goes lights. To red. And hey, it's Tanuki gonna try girl. to figure out where it is again, and it knows. I don't know. Oh, that's really cool. You just gotta go now, how's the recalibrate? Because I can't fucking drive this worth a shit. Mm. How is this like? Is there a learning curve? Steep learning curve? or? It's like any RC car or remote control helicopter or anything. Just with, you. Okay. Just, just with time, you're going to get the hang of it. So, like, I'm, I'm practicing on doing figure eights without letting his head fly off. So, as you can see, when I mean, you make those hard turns, he just likes, the head just likes to drag against the car carpet. Right. So sometimes I just take that overdrive and I slow it down. Okay. And uh, now his top speed is not the slowest. It's a little bit below middle of the road, but he's still taking those turns like a champ. But mm. sometimes he's grinding. Yep. See? Hits my foot. And he's fucked again. And you can see he's just or trying to find just, where he's mm -hmm. supposed to go. Now battery life. Let's go straight to I battery I haven't life. run down the battery yet. Okay. It says it's an hour long, which, to be completely honest, for I an would... RC device, this think of this as a RC car. I think that's pretty fucking awesome. What do you think? Uh, I honestly have not been able to run it down. Yeah. So and just I'm in... quite happy with its performance. Yeah. And that's really, and for an hour long with such a small device, that's really impressive. Hey, BB-8. So... And Overall, the other thing, the sounds yeah. don't come from the device. A lot of people think okay. the sounds are going to come from uh, the unit, and it's not going to come from BBA. It's going to come, come from, from the phone. phone. So as I increase the volume, or and take it off, there you go. See now you hear it. Okay. And then it's pretty cool. Uh, now let's get to the brass tacks of this thing. And actually, before I do that, I just want to show you guys. Uh, how small this thing is. This isn't a gigantic thing. It's about the size of a baseball. And uh, if Dan stops being such an asshole, that is a roll of toilet paper because we don't have any baseballs because we're not athletic. We're nerds. We're playing with Star Wars toys. So it is not bigger than a Scott's roll of toilet paper. Now, getting down to brass tacks, Dan. I would say it's about the size of a baseball. It's slightly smaller. Yeah? Yeah. Is this thing worth 150 bucks? If you're a Star Wars fan, yes. If not, mm -hmm. and you're in the if you like the Spyro line of products, then you probably want to go for the $99 ball that they have that's remote controlled. Okay. Um, which, to be honest with you, I'm ag I've always wanted to get one of these things just to try them out because I like the Bluetooth remote control products. Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, Parrot AR drones. Wish I had the money to get one. I and don't. you're not a fan of staring into the camera. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, I think I think it's kind. Of, I think it's worth it if in a if if you're really a Star Wars fan and if you really like these Bluetooth remote control devices, I think it's, it's really it's good. It's not like a forty dollar RC racer where you need to buy double A's all the time. Right. It's a high quality product. It's using lithium batteries it's holding a charge for at least an hour i haven't gotten it up that far i think the highest i've ever gotten is like 20 minutes of use right um, so you do have a problem with getting it up wow wow i fell into that one um no it's 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 a good product so okay. far so it's just it's got the star wars tax to it okay so you know just to not have for that, everybody what would you rate this product overall like out of what? Out of ten? Um, do the poly game standard, which is uh, A plus, B plus, C plus, that type of deal. I'd give it a solid A. I wouldn't solid say a. it's. I wouldn't say it's an A plus product because I think it's still. I think it's got little firmware uh, updates that they're gonna probably do to it in the coming coming months to give it more more balance uh, and better controls. But I think once you get a chance to play with it. It's it's rather fun to be honest with you. Okay. I, I don't I don't not like it. I love it. Alright. Um, and yeah, you've been playing it a shit ton. 
Um, so yeah, that and is our review. If you have a cat, they do like to swipe at them. Yeah. So guys, at the end of the day, that is our review of the BB-8 uh, Spiro remote controlled droid. Um, if you like this video, please hit like and share this with all your friends. Um, and most importantly, please subscribe to this channel. We mostly do gaming stuff, but I mean, we're Star Wars nerds, so we're going to do a little thing, you know, some things a little differently. That being said, we got some new podcast stuff on our website, thepolynetwork.com slash game and tech cast, uh, link down below in the video. That being said, guys, may the force be with you and have a great fudging day. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. <laughs>